A black pro mist filter increases the strength and the size of highlights. So if you have some highlights in your photo, they will blow up and become more glaring and look really cool and shiny. And today we had some really sunny weather. So I figured I want to go out and put a black pro mist filter on my macro lens and try to capture some uh, nice uh, sun glare on close-ups of random things uh, that I could find in the forest. In this video I want to talk a little bit about my experience. When I do macro and close-up photography without a flash outdoors and it is bright outside, I usually set the ISO to around 400, 500 to get enough shutter speed to freeze uh, any camera shakes. Uh, the shutter speed I usually go for when doing close-ups and macro photography is 1 200th of a second. And then I uh, change the aperture depending on how I want the depth of field and bokeh to look. The photos in this video were shot at between f5.6 and f8, sometimes f10. One setting I do recommend for macro photography outdoors uh, is to set the white balance to something consistent. I like to set it to shade or cloudy day because then when it is a bit sunny the uh, colors get really warm and nice so you get a beautiful image already in the camera and it's easier to imagine how they would look after some editing because I like to have a lot of warm colors in my photos. I've noticed that when I use one fourth in strength on a pro mist filter that I've used uh, for macro photography and close-ups I don't really see a lot of that Pro Mist and I have a theory about why that is. Uh, let me try to explain. So here we have a mountain representing shooting something big or at least fairly big. And we also have a small B here and then a lens, a macro lens. And what happens I think is that uh, when you uh, use some kind of uh, filter if you shoot something big, something normal, like non-macro photography, you actually use the whole filter. So like all the particles that are in the filter that creates this glow, they are utilized. But when you shoot something small, as in macro photography, you are actually only using a very small portion of the front of the lens. And since it is a lot of small, small particles in the filter that creates the glow, you get to use less of those particles when you're doing macro and close-up photography. Hence, the effect of the filter uh, is not as strong. This is at least my theory about uh, my results. So what I'm actually planning to do is to buy a very strong promised filter, maybe a strength of one or two. And hopefully that can give me this nice uh, glowing highlight effect that I am after, even in macro photography. This time of the year in Sweden, there is basically nothing interesting outdoors to photograph, but I still prefer to go outside because I really enjoy walking around, getting some endorphins and finding my subjects as opposed to being indoors and like arranging scenes. I could probably get nicer looking results if I was indoors doing some interesting experiments, but for me it's just more enjoyable to do a proper photo walk outdoors. One of the nicer subjects that you can still find this time of the year is rose hips. They still have some color and they are a little bit translucent so when the sun is shining it actually kind of shines through them creating an interesting effect. And these photos I think they are not great but pretty okay. Actually most of the photos in this video are so bad that I was planning not to even make a video from this photo walk but then I was thinking maybe someone will still appreciate it even if I'm not that uh, happy with the results. Maybe um, you enjoy watching this video for other reasons. <laughs> so I, I, in the end I went uh, ahead and, and just finished the video. Uh, the nicest photo in this photo walk I think is this one. I really love how it looks and I'm really happy with it. I think I'm gonna post it on Instagram. And that's it for this little video. Hope you enjoyed it. See you very soon again. Bye bye.